There is a massive debate in the Obsidian community that never seems to end. Folders versus tags. And honestly, they both have problems. If you love folders, you waste so much time dragging and dropping files, creating subdirectories and micromanaging your world instead of actually writing. But if you rely only on tags, your file explorer becomes a disaster zone, just thousands of files sitting in one root directory. And it's not just about aesthetics. When you have too many files in a single folder, Obsidian can actually start to feel sluggish. I'm going to explain the solution in just a second, but make sure to stick around. Immediately after this explanation, I'm going to switch to my screen and give you a live practical demo so you can see exactly how it works. So I decided to build a bridge between the two. I call it tag and folders. The concept is incredibly simple. You keep your fast workflow, it doesn't matter if you prefer YAML from matter, inline hashtags in your text, or complex nested tags like hashtag project slash client A. The plugin detects them all. Instead of dragging files manually, the plugin reads those tags and offers to move the node for you. It converts them into actual folder paths. And the best part? You don't have to create those folders yourself. If the directory doesn't exist yet, the plugin automatically creates it for you based on the tag. Now I know some of you are going to ask can it do the reverse? Can I drag a file into a folder and have it automatically add the tag? That is definitely the plan for the future. But I want to be super clear that function does not exist yet. Right now, in version 1, we are focusing strictly on moving files based on their tags. Now, why would you want this? Anyone who is just tired of the mess. If you want a clean sidebar where you can collapse folders and focus on specific topics that without manually maintaining the structure every single day, this plugin is going to save you a lot of headaches. If you have a node with multiple tags, say both hashtag work and hashtag priority, the plugin doesn't just guess and move it randomly, it actually opens a dialog and lets you choose exactly which tag folder you want that file to live in. You pick the destination and then the plugin handles the move. Oh, and one fun fact, I wrote 100% of the code for this plugin using Cloud Code. And let me show you how my plugin works. To access my plugin, just type Command P or Ctrl P if you use Windows, type Tag and Folders, and uh, you can see three options. You don't need this, you need Organize option and Show Organization Paths options. And what will happen if we choose Show Organization Paths? Just hit this and you can see you that you can move text to these directories. These directories are similar to the tags of the node. Let's try another feature, another option and it's organized current node. Hit and our node has two tags and we have to choose. I want this tag and it will create this relevant directory if this directory doesn't exist. And hit and successfully organized our node. And what will happen if we want to move our node to the folder that already has the node with the same name? and hit command P and organize current node. Hit active and we have file conflict dialog. We can see existing file in this directory and file being organized. We can see size, date and format. And we can choose the resolution options. Uh, you can rename file, it's recommended. We will see it later. You can just skip operation and you will see that our organization is failed. We can try another feature. You can just replace existing file, but it's destructive feature, destructive option. Uh, the existing file will be permanently lost and we don't want it. We can just move to subfolder, it's safe and apply. And we can see the node that already exists here and we can see our node that we moved in the conflicts folder. And let's see another method. You can choose the recommended option. Rename file. How you can rename your file? You just scroll down, you can see new file name. Let's just type text 
tool and we can see the resolution per view. Apply and here you have it, you can see that our node moved with a new name. And what will happen if our node has only one tag? It's not two tags or ten tags, it's just one tag. What will happen? Let's hit command P, organize current node, and our plugin will move this node automatically. You will not have to choose where you want to move this node, because it just has only one tag. And how to install my plugin? You will not find my plugin in the community plugins section. And as you can see, there are five plugins, but there is no our plugin. So how to install my plugin? Firstly, you just go to community plugins, type brat and my plugin already installed. Okay, just hit Ctrl P or Command P and uh, type brat plugins, find this option. Add a beta plugin for testing. Click, go to the description of this video, copy the repo link and paste here and then just hit add plugin and you will see my plugin here in the community plugins. Also you can choose the hotkeys for the plugin features, just hit here and press any hotkey you want. I will choose command option O and for this for example command option S and we will no longer have to hit command P and we have no longer have to search our plugin features just type new hotkeys. I'll type command option O and I will see the options, the directories where I can move my node. And it's also for showing preview paths. Command option S and you can see the preview. As I mentioned, this is just the beginning. Once we've battle tested this manual version together, I have big plans for the next update. I want to add full automation so your nodes move instantly the moment you save them and batch processing so you can reorganize hundreds of old nodes with a single click but to get there i need your feedback if you want to try it out the link to the github repo is right there in the description you can install it manually or use the broad plugin give it a shot let me know what breaks and tell me in the comments what features you want to see in version 2